Professionally, I build costumes and props for film, and that's my day job. When, when I'm not doing that, I'm building fantastical inventions and creations and weapons in a very steampunk vein, very, very Jules Verne, um, very Chitty Chitty Bang Bang sort of things. It's, it's just elaborate and fanciful contraptions and inventions that I build for fun. And that's one of the things that attracted me to steampunk in the first place. It becomes a lifestyle. I don't dress the part every day, but I'm certainly in that mindset. I'm thinking about new things I can build. I, I, I collect junk all the time. I'm in a secondhand stores all the time. I see something interesting. I think, how can I change this? What can I make it into? <laughs> Dude, there's a lot of upcycling in steampunk. There's a lot of repurposing of, of secondhand junk. Um, and I'm a hoarder. I, I love collecting junk and just turning it into pieces of art. And I'll, I could happily do that for the rest of my days. When we meet, we can talk about uh, creating stuff and uh, he talks to me about what he does and sometimes I don't understand <laughs> because it's too complex for me. <laughs> <laughs> but you're working on uh, that uh, Tesla thing that's very high voltage. And... That's a really scary piece of equipment, yeah. Yeah. The piece I'm working on right now is uh, called the Jacob's Ladder. And it's basically two long electrodes and it starts, well, an electrical arc starts in the bottom and the arc travels up. You see them in old movies, old Frankenstein or old science fiction movies like that. And they're very dramatic. Big electrical arc goes up and it's loud and it makes a lot of noise and it's flashy. It's also extremely high voltage. It scares me a little bit. <laughs> As early as I can remember, my, uh, my mother was very creative. She was an artist. She went to, to OCAD in Toronto when she was a teenager. So I was brought up in a very creative household, whether I did radio-controlled model boats and airplanes. I've just always built things. And steampunk allows me um, an outlet to be very creative in that. I can let my imagination go free with, with all my childhood memories. All these crazy movies in the late 1900s. It's fanciful and it brings joy. 